Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to another video. So this time I have the LG C2 OLED. This is the 42 inch model. And in this video, I'm going to test some gaming. I'm going to get into some action with Call of Duty. And we're going to play some other games with the Xbox and the PS5. So welcome to the channel. Sit back, relax, and let's do this. Alright guys, so I'm going to start with the Xbox Series X, let's go into the settings and let's find out what options we have for the display, right? So here resolution we have 4K and also 1440p, yes, refresh rate we have 120Hz and 60Hz, so I'm going to be just leaving at 120Hz for now. 4K TV details, we got all the green check marks, right now I have Dolby Vision turned off, but this TV also supports... Dolby Vision and Dolby Vision Gaming. So let's go and turn it on right now. Uh, before we do that, everything is checked. HDR tone, HDR uh, auto HDR, uh, auto low latency, variable refresh rate. So over here we can set Dolby Vision on and then Dolby Vision for gaming. Now we're able to play at 4K 120 Hertz with Dolby Vision if you want. So yes we got all that option however i much prefer to play with hdr i just feel like the hdr performs better right now so i'm going to turn off dolby vision i just wanted to show that it works all right guys so i'm going to start with call of duty right here this is the new multiplayer and i gotta say i'm terrible at this game right now i'm not really a big fan of multiplayer call of duty it's just a uh, dead kill and dead dead day and die 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 all the time and uh, i just suck but uh before i continue let's press this secret menu we're gonna press the green button on the controller several times until we get this secret menu so vrr information it is running at 120 hertz vrr 38 40 21 60 rgb 10 bit colors and yes that is how we're running this game and i gotta say oh my god this game looks super nice especially right here with hdr oh uh, yeah well that's what i was expecting anyways this game looks fantastic and it runs very very smooth very fast that's why i love this uh tv and call of duty actually it's just i think they're doing a they're doing a very good game right now so uh let's go into the game hub which right here you can tell you some more information the fps vrr is on and then you can switch to different picture setting or picture mode rpg fps is a little bit brighter that's why i like so you can see everything a little bit brighter rpg is a little bit darker rts is a little bit brighter too and then this is sports i guess for uh sports games and then this is a standard so i like to play with fps right and then we have black stabilizer at 13 latency and everything so we also have this new option it's called dark room mode however this is only if you are in a dark room and there's two levels so the tv gets dimmer very dim i do not need this we do not need this because i want this tv to be as bright as possible right we also have multi view just in case if you want to you know play your game and then have another separate screen we play maybe a YouTube video hmm very interesting but I don't know I don't know I don't feel like I want to do that let's go back into this and then we also have the game optimizer so right here we have a little bit of more options there's some more information again and then we can also change the picture we can adjust the black stabilizer white stabilizer I mean you have so many options on this TV for gaming honestly I feel like LG has been doing such a great job with their TVs right now. And then we can access all of the rest of the settings right here. All right, guys. So let's play a little bit of Gotham Knights. This game just released a few days ago. And it's been on and off um, controversy about the frame rate and the gameplay and the overall game. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if i like it or not uh, just been playing it to see if i try to get hooked to the game and in my opinion it's 
it's okay, but it's it's not as Arkham Knight, you know. I really like Arkham Knight. And then the other controversy about this game, the 30 FPS uh, performance, it's, it's pretty bad. However, in some instances, it looks okay. This is with the new update, and the game is performing a little bit more stable. Hopefully, they, they keep on improving this game and they introduce a performance mode because I feel like this game really needs it. So let's get into a little bit of a, of a fight. What the hell is going on over here? So another thing I don't like much about this game, I'm not a big fan, is just the, the fighting. Just I just have to smash one button. I feel like I'm, I'm not really interesting in this. Just the slices. And it's kind of slow too. The fighting style is a little slow in my opinion. Ooh. Well, that's new. Okay. Alright, alright. So this is Lego Star Wars. This is one of my favorite Lego Star Wars. The Luke Skywalker saga. And this game looks beautiful. I love the HDR performance on this game. It's so very well detailed. The uh, the highlights, the uh, dark shadows, the colors, especially the colors. And I'm going to share with you my settings right now. And I'm going to show you if you like colors and if you like brightness and HDR overall, the settings that I'm using work really well for you guys. All right. So let's go jump into the settings real quick. Let's press settings. And then in this menu, you can also access the settings. Let's go down here to game optimizer. Right. I was just going to open that up real quick. And then right here, game we also have the option of picture, so let's jump into picture. We get access to black stabilizer, white stabilizer, right? We can also adjust the contrast from here, uh, black levels, adjust sharpness. So you got quick access to some of these settings, color, depth, dynamic, do dynamic tone mapping as well. So this is what I'm using, dynamic tone mapping is on. We can switch to HDIG if you want. But I feel like the uh, the colors and the overall brightness get a little bit dimmer. Same as I've doing. Oh, if actually if I turn this off, oh no, it looks terrible. I don't like it. So it is between HGIG and dynamic tone mapping. Oh wow. You know what? Actually, I think HGIG looks much nicer. It's a little bit darker. However. I see a little bit more shadows in um, with HGIG. Yes, yeah, so I can see. Check out the sun. The sun, so that's dynamic tone mapping. HGIG, I feel like it's a little bit more details. I'm just going to leave it right now with HGIG. This is for HDR for gaming. So let's go right here right now aspect ratio and then we get access to more picture settings let's go into picture settings and then we have the brightness right here I have everything hundred percent color uh, just contrast hundred percent black levels and right once again we get access to dynamic tone mapping right here you guys can see the details I feel like HGIG looks better on this game. Some games do support HGIG, some other games don't. So I will just suggest if you want to just play around with that whenever you get a chance. Remember that every game is different. So let's go to color depth uh, 55, color gamut. I have it in native. Let's try auto detect. Native. Oh yeah, native. Definitely. Native if you like colors. To have a little bit more vibrancy, go for native. It definitely does look a little tiny bit better, but it is a noticeable difference. So let's go to white balance. Temperature, I have it at zero, so it is balanced between warm and cold. That's how I like it. Let's go to clarity real quick. Sharpness is at 10. Super resolution is off. 
and all these other options are going to be grayed out because they introduce input lag we don't want that and that's it very simple one thing I did notice is that right here in this menu the con the controller is not as responsive I feel like there's a little bit of delay I don't know if you guys have this TV let me know if you have the same same uh, issue let me know if you guys notice that as well so those are the HDR settings for gaming remember that these are my own personal settings and what I like is brightness and color vibrancy that's what I look for and the settings that I'm using right now I'm really liking it all right so let's jump into the PS5 and we're gonna go into the PlayStation settings let's go to screen and video and I'm pretty sure everything is going to be working properly resolution is automatic let's go to video output right now it's uh, 30 40 21 60 at 60 Hertz VRR is supported HDR and all these frequencies up to 120 Hertz yes so we have also 1440p resolution support VRR 120 Hertz auto low latency mode I mean everything it's working properly that's what I like uh, LG TVs for gaming I think those are one of the best options you can find right now so this is Horizon Forbidden West with HDR on this beautiful LG C2 OLED and guys you're gonna love this colors contrast high um, highlights on this game it's stunning I really enjoy this game it's one of my favorites from the PlayStation 5. This one and Ghost of Tsushima. These games are totally insane looking. And you're going to have a lot of fun. Especially if you have a TV that performs as good as this one. Look at this. Sunshines. Oh my god. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going. <laughs> so that is with the settings that I'm using. Same settings. With the Xbox, they work for uh, with the PlayStation 5. Same exact settings. You don't have to change any. Oh, how's it going? Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, just looking for problems here. Ah, right, let's get out of here. I don't think they like me that much. So, anyways, this is Horizon Forbidden West, guys. Just wanted to showcase a little bit of this game with this TV. Let's jump to another game real quick and we're gonna wrap up this video. And finally I have one of my favorite games of all time Ghost of Tsushima. I like to call it Tsushima. Look how beautiful it looks on this TV. You're not going to be disappointed if you're looking for an OLED TV, if you're looking for gaming or for movies or for streaming your favorite content from Netflix HBO Max, Prime, this to be all it's from uh, LG perform absolutely best. I love them. However, if you have the C1 from last year, I don't think this is an upgrade. Even though this TV does have the Evo panel, it doesn't have the brightness that uh, that the G2 has. Oh my God! What, what what's going on over here? It doesn't have the brightness. The power, you know, from the G2. So, uh, oh my god, I hate those archers. Let's go get those archers. What the hell? Oh, I have poison. Oh, that's why. I was feeling so sick. Look at this. Oh, yes, yes. So if you're looking for a bright OLED TV, you have basically you have two options. You have the G2 Gallery from uh, LG as well. It is available in 55 inch, 65 and um, I believe uh, 77 inches as well. The G2 Gallery. Where is this Archer? God, I jeez, where are you? where are you, you son of a gun? Oh, there you are. There you are. I'm gonna get you right now. Don't even run. Don't bother. I'm gonna get this punk too. So, 
as I was saying, you have that option, the G2 Gallery, or another recommendation I make to you guys will be the uh, the Samsung QD OLED. Man, that TV is, is another piece of art. I did a video review on it a few months ago, and I love it. It is bright, it is colorful, stunning black levels, all the gaming features you need. I mean, and it's bright. It's the most important thing I think is is that one of the brightest OLED I've seen, and the performance is great. I love that TV. So, for Black Friday, you have plenty of options, and this is one good hell of an option. Wait for uh, next month, November. Black Friday is going to be awesome. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys soon. Jolster out!